You like to smell pretty. Do I like to what? Ah! <laughs> oh, I got it. You got it right in my mouth. Why did you do that? You just spit on my carpet. And you sprayed perfume in my mouth. Um, this is a clip from the new movie, The Sitter, starring Jonah Hill. So let's bring in Mr. Movie Phone to get his take on that and other movies out this weekend. As I'm watching this, at first you're like, oh, this might be a cute family member but the movie. But then I look down and it's rated R. So this isn't the adventures in babysitting, is it? No, this isn't the pacifier or, or something like that. It is Jonah Hill as a babysitter, but he's a bad ba babysitter, a very, very bad babysitter. And he's, he's foul-mouthed, and, and he's really he's a lovable loser is what he is. He's living at home with Mom. Mom wants to go on a date, so she asks him to babysit the neighbor's kids because she was supposed to do it. And he decides to take them on a, on a night out, and that's sort of when all you know what breaks loose. Here's the deal. I like Jonah Hill. I think he's funny. He already had a good movie this year with Moneyball. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get to have two. This uh, this movie is really, really bad. It's The, the script is bad. The production oh. value is bad. Oh. Uh, apparently, it's really, really funny when young kids say really foul things. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that makes a movie. So uh, we're, we're taking a pass on the sitter. We are. He's fired, as far as we're concerned. And he always seems to play the same character, doesn't he, over and over? Okay. He does, and so, but he's really thin now. Like, he always was the fat guy playing, making fat jokes, and now he's really thin, so it'll be interesting to see what he does now. Okay. Next movie, and I've seen a lot of premieres and pictures from it, um, New Year's Eve, which reminds me of Valentine's Day. <laughs> When I look at it, do you remember Valentine's Day the movie? And there was it had a whole bunch of celebrities in it. So does New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah this is the, uh, this is the same movie. They took the same movie and they put a new title on it. Well, maybe they didn't do that, but it is from Gary Marshall and uh, the maker of Valentine's Day. Except this is centered around New Year's Eve, and you have. Uh, a ton of stars, all of these intersecting storylines. I mean, this, the cast includes Robert De Niro, Halle Berry, Michelle Pfeiffer, Josh Dumel, Sarah Jessica Parker, Hilary Swank, Catherine Heigl, John Bon Jovi, Ashton Kutcher, and so many more. I wanted to read that to, to get them all in, but I can't even do wow. that. Wow. Here's, th here's the thing, Robin. If this is New Year's Eve, I'm going to go with the Mayans and the end of days. This oh, I know. Is, is it that uh, bad? Come on. How could it be bad with all these great stars? Oh, it can not only be that bad, it's worse than that bad. And because they don't give the stars anything to do, they just sort of show up for a few minutes, and there are all these stories that, that sort of go nowhere. I'm telling you, they're stealing your money. If you go buy a ticket to see New Year's Eve, go rent Valentine's Day for a buck out of the red box machine, and, and you'll be saving yourself some cash. Do you have any recommendations Sorry, for what we should see, since apparently the two new movies <laughs> you're not a big fan of? I, I do. I don't want to bring people totally down. Yes, you should go see Hugo in 3D because it's awesome. If you haven't seen that yet, I like The Muppets. I like Arthur Christmas. Uh, the Descendants in limited release is awesome. We talked about some of the limited releases last week. Uh, so, yeah, you can find good movies in theaters, and I'm sure you haven't seen all of these that I've just mentioned. So, Hugo, Muppets, all, all of those movies you're going to just love. So maybe you pass on the big releases this weekend. Okay, then. Let everyone else stand in line, right? All right, appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Robin.